Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the mission of the Western Armenian delegation in the regions of Western Armenia. The source of the crime is already known. The Haydar Aliyev Foundation is the source of vandalism. A authoritative organization of Argentina harshly criticized the statement of the Turkish ambassador denying the genocide of Armenians. Artak Beglan and Arad Mirzoyan discussed the situation in Artsakh and the progress of overcoming humanitarian issues. The administration the administration of the province of Yerzegan confirmed the CNN leak in the vicinity of U protest. The examination has begun. An American student discovered a rare Bible with a map of Great Armenia. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. The delegation of Western Armenia continued its mission in its homeland. On the fourth day of the trip, went to Harbert and from there to Tigranakert. On the church of Harbert, our delegates were lucky enough to meet various culture structures bearing an Armenian trace. Unfortunately, some of them were destroyed. For example, two Armenian churches in the village of Ekinozu of St. Mariam Church and a church whose name could not be found out. We want to remind you that the churches bearing the name of Mariam Astvatsatsin were built in a place of temple of God Anahid, approximately on the same church where there was a spring with three sources, from which poor mountain water has been flowing for centuries. In general, almost the entire church of Western Armenia is rich in mountain springs. In Halbert, our delegation also visited the Balu fortress, which was built on a hill above the Aradzani River. This magnificent building proves once again how brave and independent our ancestors were. From here, our delegation went to the historical city of Tigranakert, which was founded by the Armenian king Tigran the Great. In Tigranakert, one of the centers of ancient civilization, architecture monuments have been preserved even today. Only some of them were possible to see. Among them were the Armenian Church of St. Kirakos and Huge Balls. Tigranakert is also home to the Armenian Quarter of Sur, which has been the cradle of the indigenous Armenian people for thousands of years. Unfortunately, today the Sur district is deprived of Armenians, and under the pretext of some state program, it has been destroyed having lost its beauty. Near Sur stand an architecture masterpiece, the largest church in the Middle East, St. Kirakos, a visit to which was a great honor for our delegation. In Tigran Aker, the evening continued in a pleasant atmosphere together with the Western Armenian citizens gathered there from different regions. During the meeting, the birthday of Western Armenian TV employee was celebrated. Western Armenian Culture Minister Rafik Ortoshan wrote on his Facebook page from the message of the Azerbaijan website Ojakun News dated July 17. We found out the church of the village of Nish was repaired by the Haydai Ali Foundation. The fact is that representatives of Azerbaijan is Muslim, Christian and Jewish communities visited the church of Zunt Yerishe in the village of Nish on this day and expressed satisfaction with the repairment of the church. By the way, it was known that during these works in 2000s, two Armenian protocols of the church were erased and destroyed, but until now it was not known exactly which Azerbaijan body sponsored this case. Western Armenia constantly touches on such cases and states that neighboring countries extend their genocidal policy to culture values. Hundreds of similar cases occurred after the genocide committed against the Armenians, when some Armenians were killed and another part was forced to leave their native territories, leaving their century-old culture in the same place, which today is distorted and eliminated by the occupiers. On June 23, 12 public organization of Argentina issued a statement regarding the letter of Turkish ambassador to Argentina, Shefik Vural Altai, published on July 15 by the daily newspaper La Nation, noting that the only purpose of the article is to deny the genocide of Armenians. The statement of public organization was published on June 24 by the authoritative daily newspaper Pagina 12. This crime against humanity was planned and carried out by the Ottoman Empire, whose legal successor is the current Republic of Turkey. On January 2007, the genocide committed against Armenians was organized by the National Council of Argentina Republic, ratified by President Nestor Kirchner, by which April 24 of each year is declared the Day of Tolerance and Respect between people, in memory of the genocide of which the Armenian people become a victim. Public organizations noted, Today this date is included in the official calendar of the Argentina Republic. Western Armenia is in constant contact with the Armenian community of Argentina, and we can say that such a reaction of public organization was due to the consistent work of the Armenian community. 
On June 24, Armenian Foreign Minister Arat Mirzoyan met with Artsakh State Minister Artak Begladian. They discussed the situation in Artsakh as a result of Azerbaijan aggression in 2020 and the progress of overcoming humanitarian issues, in particular their efforts made in international bodies to erase the rights of people of Artsakh, including a forcibly displaced population, and to solve the problems facing them were touched upon. In this context, Arat Mirzoyan and Artak Begladian stressed the need for implementation of international humanitarian organizations on the ground in order to comprehensively address the humanitarian and socio-economic consequences of the war. They exchanged views on the prospects for a peaceful and just settlement of the Artsakh conflict. In a gold mine of the village of Chopler in the province of Yerzenka in western Armenia, a cyanide leak occurred, which according to some sources mixed with the earth and the Euphrates land. The administration of the province of Yerzenka issued a written statement, noting that cyanide containing solution leaked due to the pipeline failure. But the same statement refutes the claims that a leakage of toxic substance reached the Euphrates River. The statement also says the Minister of Ecology, the Directorate of Environmental Assistance, Inspectorate and a technical staff of the Inspection Department for observation and monitoring conducted the necessary studies and assessment on the ground, as a result of which it turned out that there was no cyanide flow in any water of the region, including the Euphrates, and it was not intentional. The necessary expertise and assessment will be carried out by the Ministry of Environment and Urban Development. Western Armenia stated, this is not the only case when Turkey used the natural sources of Western Armenia and damaged the environment. A student from the American Portland, Sam Busan, found in the archive of Lewis and Clark College Library on the edition of Geneva Bible of 1599, the Bible of Queen Elizabeth I and Shakespeare, where Great Armenia is mentioned, the official website of American CBC TV channel reports. According to the report, experts say that in a rare edition of Bible, the main scriptures are represented by complex illustrations of a tree. In one of the sections of Bible, the situation of the Garden of Eden, a map of ancient East and Great Armenia, Babylon and the Persian Gulf is depicted on a wooden board. The book is in a good condition. An inscription was found in a book showing that the edition was published in London by the publisher of Queen of England, Christopher Barker. According to the Oregonian, the Geneva Bible is the second oldest book in a college's collection, as they have another book that is about 500 years old. Dear compatriots, devotees concerned about the fate of Western Armenia, in the spirit of great geopolitical events today, more than ever we need unity, assistance and closer contact with each other. Today there are few structures that truly contribute to the unification of our nation and unity in the struggle for their rights and demands. The Western Armenian TV is one of those exceptional platforms where we can all communicate, get to know each other and to be informed about various events taking place in and around historical homeland. Your support will contribute to the further expansion of the information field as well as to fight more clearly and confidently for the protection and restoration of the violated rights of our grandfathers. Let's fight together for the sake of restoring justice. Together we can do more. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.